Have you ever wondered, ah, that bot could have been tweaked just a little bit more to make more out of my trades? Or, ah, if I only changed that, I would have got more out of using my bots. Well, three commas is an intelligent trading service and they have a back testing feature that maybe you didn't know about or maybe you didn't know how beneficial it was. Let's take a look at a chart. I'm looking at the Binance coin versus Ethereum. This has been an insanely bullish chart. This has been fantastic. So I want to look at this and wonder if this continues, what kind of profits can I expect to see? Now I want to add a bot. I want to choose a simple bot because it's going to buy low and sell high. I'm going to title this bot BNB ETH backtest bot. Choose the exchange where you have funds. Let's see, and now I need to choose BNB. Oops, there we go. Ethereum and BNB. I want to make more Ethereum. If I wanted to make more Binance coin, I would choose base currency. Now I choose how much I want to start with. I want to see how much I could get if I had these settings. Now it tells me I have too much, so I have to adjust some things and set up the bot the way I want it to, decide how many active trades I want, how much percent profit do I want to take each time. Um, I can also change the safety order volume scale, which will either front load the bot or back load it. But I'm just going to leave it as is. Safety order step scale will increase the deviation amount if I increase this here or decrease it. But I'm just going to leave it at one for now. The bot won't start a new deal if it's under this amount of BTC volume in a day's period. I could also set a stop loss or a cooldown. So I'm going to leave it just like this. So here are my settings for this bot. Now instead of creating the bot, I'm going to click start backtest. This does take some time, so be patient. And what I suggest you do is while this is loading, if you can zoom out, which is on Mac, command minus, it's not going to be perfect, but at least this way, I can take a screenshot of the settings for this bot. And I'll show you why this is important. So now I have a screenshot of my bot settings. I'm going to scroll down. It's not done yet. So we're going to zip to the end of this. You ever hear that expression, good things come to those who wait? Well, now we're looking at it. So we can see here with the settings that I have the total profit to be expected from these settings. Let me zoom in. So this is actually visible again would be 0.15 Ethereum actual profit right here. This is a little bit worrisome because there was this drop. we would be making all this and then boom. So something happened recently where in the back test with these settings, it looks like I might have done better if I had put in a stop loss. So after running this bot from the 4th of September until the looks like the end of September, so October 2nd of October today, there's a big lag in time and nothing happened. What would happen if I had a stop loss percentage of negative, we'll do 9%. Oh, it should be greater than the max deviation, which is 10%. Well, then we'll do 10 point, <laughs> we'll do 10.1. And let's change our, well, let's change this then. I don't want the max deviation to be 10% now. I want it to be smaller. So I'm going to leave my settings, but I'm going to change this to be 6%. Then my stop loss will be 7%. So I've made some changes again. After making some changes, go ahead and take a screenshot of your settings. And then you can update the back test. Should also take a screenshot of that as well. Now look here, that updated a lot quicker and there's our actual profit. So it using the stop loss, we did miss out on a couple of trades here, but our actual profit right there is 0.07 Ethereum. Now, I could go in and change anything and everything. If I change the amount of my safety trades, if I change the um, active amounts, price deviation, the safety order volume scale, I could also change 
the trade start condition. And I'm going to test that out to see, does it, does it update? So here's my new backtest result from my second one. Update this. There we go. So if I had just run this with open new trade ASAP, it would not have been as profitable. Let's try out. All right, so this is open new trade ASAP. So I'm going to make a screenshot so I see that and I, I remember it. Now I want to go to trading view and I want to choose a composite buy as the setting. Now let's see how this updates and changes. Much better. I have an actual realized profit of 0.042 Ethereum. What if we changed our target profit amount to something less like 0.5? And our price deviation, six, that's pretty good. That's fine. We'll leave it there. Let's just try changing this one parameter. So now we're changing our target profit. I need to zoom out and I need to make, make another screenshot. Why all the screenshots? This is a lot of data to write down. You could be more scientific about it and make these little notes and these little things and make these little changes. But really, screenshots are going to help a lot. Let's see. Lo and behold, what do we have here? Having a tighter take profit margin of 0.5% will yield us more gains compared to if we had 1% take profit. What if we changed our target profit amount to 2%? Let's see what changes here. We would make less. We would make less if we had a higher take profit percentage. This is awesome. I know just with this profit back test, how much more trades I can expect given what's happened in the past and how much profit I can expect to make. Just curious. Let's just try the lowest take profit amount. Let's see what that would have yielded us. Not as much. Isn't that interesting? So we had a ton of total deals, but look, the actual profit was only 0.08. So really, when I tell you that small amounts are good, you should mess with it and see. What if it was 0.6? What if it was 0.75? And then you can start to change these parameters here and change your price deviation in your volume order scale and your step order scale. I know that this is a lot of tweaking, but I mean, this is your money we're talking about. So if you care about your bots, and you want them to work as good as possible, why not just backtest them before you click Create Bot? And with that said, once you're happy with the setting, create the bot. And after you've created the bot, don't forget to start the bot.